Hi guys, it's Jenny Belly here with my three glues technique for perfect sticking. This is what I call a dry glue technique. If you want more of a collage and decoupage technique, then I did a tutorial on that a couple of years ago, so check out that on my YouTube channel. This is something that I know people have problems with, making sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles. Even recently people posting discussions on my art community journal workshops about it so I know that it can be quite frustrating when you haven't got your own technique. So here's mine, you can take it and adapt it and play around with it and see what works best for you. So the first thing that I use is double sided sticky tape. This is permanent and I love this tape. The trouble is if you just stick this down then even if you accidentally touch your other piece of paper with it it's there <laughs> it's it's right there and you can't shift it or you can try but it will tear your paper or it will create wrinkles so this is why I don't use this one alone but it is permanent so that's also why I love using this tape and it's easy I have bags and bags of this stuff from all different brands I don't particularly have a favorite but the one that I'm using a lot of right now is from a company that we have here in the UK called The Works and it's really cheap and fat so I'm liking using this right now. So what I do with this tape is I always put it as far up to the edges as possible and always on all four edges or however many sides of your piece of paper that you have and then a little bit in the middle. Next what I use is a glue stick and here these are my two favourite uh, brands of glue stick. Some I can find can be a bit too clumpy but these two particularly run really smoothly. So I put it on top of the double sided sticky tape and the reason why I do this is because it allows the piece of paper that you are sticking to be repositionable. So where the double sided sticky tape would just stick and that will be it, it will be there permanently. This one allows you to play around a little bit, but it isn't permanent so that is why I don't use this on its own. I mean sometimes I do if I'm in a rush, but generally this three glue technique is what I use to make sure all of my stickages are permanently stuck. So the final one that I use is Eileen's Tacky Glue, if you've been following me for any length of time you know this is like one of my favourite glues. Again because it's permanent and it just basically seals the deal. I just put a little layer on top, generally around the edges again, to make sure that it's gonna stay there forever. As you can see, as I put down the page, it is shiftable, so you've got some wiggle room using these three glues together. So if you wanna give this a try, I hope you enjoy getting stuck into this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you would like more, there's three things you can do. Number one, you could subscribe to my channel. Number two, you could sign up for my newsletter where I send out exclusive videos just to my newsletter crew each month along with news, monthly giveaways, new stuff, articles and updates. And third, sign up to my art community, journalworkshops.ning.com. It's free to sign up and there is weekly and monthly art activities going on on there, as well as all of my classes, including a free one, if you haven't taken it yet, called Inspiration Station, all about making art journals and just keeping your creative inspiration up, up, up. <laughs> so go sign up now. Have an awesome day. Bye.